start with your second 10. Uh, mm. You've already said who number 11 is, Steph Curry, uh, because I found it, uh, <laughs> I found it fascinating. <laughs> this is, Uh-oh. and I just want to add, I, I want to add, were you high on crack cocaine when you did this second 10? Oh uh, my God! Now you're. Oh my God! <laughs> now you're calling me Pookie. Moses Malone isn't one of your top twenty players of all time. You know, okay, I love Moses, fo fo fo. But at the end of his career, it was like Barry Bonds. He was on a team every year. I, I don't think his career ended up that great. I, I'm gonna say this: I deserve fifty lashes for not including Jerry West and Carl Malone. I, I will throw myself under the bus on that. I wasn't high. I was just drowsy. I'm on Pacific time. I just came back from a trip. Give me a break. But the one guy that's really shaky on anyone's list is Durant. And it's going back to Curry real fast. How bad does KD look? Let, let's go back two, three years. When KD left, I think they lost to the Toronto Raptors. Everyone was injured. And everyone said, oh, my God, now KD is going to be the number one. He's going to lead Brooklyn to great things. And it's over for Golden State. Well, fast forward to 2022. Uh, Kevin Durant's probably on multiple burner accounts sticking up for himself. But right now, in, in that divorce, um, it is Steph Curry uh, that really upgraded here. Okay, so you were driving while doing your top 20, and that's your excuse for not there. <laughs> well, I was drowsy. I was drowsy. Hadley wakes me up early. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I, I could. Your second twenty was like holy cow, or your second ten: <laughs> Steph Curry, Oscar Robinson, Shaq, Julius Irvin, Isaiah Thomas, Charles Barkley is on this list ahead yes. of Carl Malone and Moses Malone. I love Charles Barkley, but come on, man, Moses Malone was a three-time MVP. All right, all right. Let me just stick up for Sir Charles. People forget how good he was. This guy's a six-four, undersized power forward who was every year in his prime among the leaders in rebounding. Not only that, he's one of the few guys that could get the ball amongst the big men, rebound on the defensive side of the floor, take the ball up by himself and take it end-to-end like Bobby Orr and throw it down. And then later in his career, extended his game where he could actually shoot three-pointers. Let's not confuse him for the malaise of Philadelphia the last couple of years where he was disinterested. He had a great run with Phoenix. And if it wasn't for a couple of key shots here and there, they could have beat the Bulls. He's one of the most extraordinary basketball specimens that ever existed. Again, a 6'4 power forward that did the things he did. I actually think he's underrated. Steve, if we were putting together a list of NBA players you would want to go watch, Barkley would probably make my top 10, if not top 7. But again, and and I love Charles Barkley. I could, Char, I consider Charles a friend. But Moses Malone's a three-time MVP. He won an NBA title. Carl uh, Malone, uh, MVP, appeared in two NBA Finals. Second all-time leading scorer, I think, right after Kareem. Yes. Uh, does he still have second after LeBron? I don't think it's passed him yet. And so, I, I mean, <laughs> you're. you're we're going to drug test you if you come out with another list, uh, <laughs> anything like this again. Uh, here's my second 10. Uh, I got uh, Shaq, then Steph Curry, uh, Hakeem Olajuwon, Oscar Robinson, Julius Irvin, Carl Malone, Jerry West, Isaiah Thomas, Kevin Durant, and then Elgin Baylor. And I agree with you. Kevin Durant, I don't know how good I feel about because I think this last uh, Warriors title kind of exposes him a bit. Uh, and, and just, I don't know.